Reading is important to me because it allows you to explore your creativity, open your mind up to a world of imagination and allows you to look at places where you wouldn't really look. It allows you to free your mind up. Reading is important to me as it allows me to escape from everyday life and relax. I struggled quite a lot with reading when I was at school and I didn't realise why until I was told that I had dyslexia um, when I was 16 after my GCSEs but I just read everything um, and then found that I really enjoyed talking about books to um, young people so started working at a school in Birmingham and now um, working here I am working with books and trying to inspire all you guys to read as well. I find reading helps me relax but the only time I do get to really do that is whilst I'm on holiday. If I've ever had a hard day at work or a hard day in general I'll go home and I'll read a good book. Um, reading is so exhilarating and exciting, you never know what's going to happen once you turn the page. It takes me to a different place and it means I can just forget about what's going on every day and just totally immerse myself in a different world, a different environment and sometimes even be a different person. It widens my vocabulary and raises my awareness about important facts and global interests around the world. Um, I think reading is also really important because it teaches us that we're not alone. So whatever we experience or have experienced, there's almost certainly somebody else who's going through or who's gone through the same type of things, same type of emotions. And I find reading can be quite comforting sometimes. Um. It gives you that escapism. You can buy into characters, you can go to different places and you can see and feel brand new things. Coming from a family that we didn't have much TV to watch and anything, I used to hear my friends talking about loads of stuff that's happening on the telly. But whenever I talk about stuff, they're saying like, where do you get all those stuff from? And I got that from reading, just sitting, reading books and you can just, just take you to a safe place. And I'm also a father and it's very important for me to read and be able to read so that my son can come and I can be a role model for him. It allows you to escape from reality and I think that's really important when there's lots of pressures going on in everyday life. You can do it anywhere. It's easy something to carry and pick up and your imagination is the most fabulous thing ever. When I watch a film, somebody else has made up the characters, has made up the plot, has made up how it looks, but when I read, I like to pretend in my head about what those things might look like for myself. And of course, don't forget, there's been lots of research around those students that read more do best in their exams at the end of year 11. When I was studying my A-levels, I read a book called Beloved by Toni Morrison, which is a fantastic novel um, by an American author. Um, I think it changed my life because it opened up the idea to me um, that novels are not just about plot, but also very much about form. So the way something is written um, can very much affect the way that you receive the ideas the writer's putting across. I suppose a similar example that might be more accessible to SWB students would be The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Night Time, which is about a boy with Asperger's syndrome. Um, and the book is written to reflect the way that his mind works. Uh, the autobiography by Dave Brailsford, all about marginal gains, how changing one aspect of what you do can have big implications and positives for everything else that you do. Jane Eyre was the first proper grown-up book that I ever read and it was about a young girl who fought against her upbringing and fought against the society she was in um, at a time when not many women did and she used her education and her brains and her intellect and knowledge and became something better and didn't have to conform to what society said so it's very important to me and changed my life. Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. It completely changed my views on equality and the world. Before I read the book I was just bobbing along um, didn't really know very much about equality and just understood that females always came second. After reading the book I managed to stand up for what I believe in which is equality for everybody, all sexualities and all genders. It's a really good book and I would recommend that you read that. A play that I would recommend you to read is A Streetcar Named Desire by Tennessee Williams. The book that changed my life is Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. And the reason it changed my life, it was after reading that book that I decided I wanted to study literature and go to university and become a teacher. Because the book is just so powerful and so wonderful that it made me want to teach English. And that's what I have done ever since. Tough times don't last, tough people do. And it was when I was going through a very, very hard time through my life. And I remember this lady take this book to me 
when I was lying on a hospital bed and she said, um, have a read. And I could tell you that reading that book just lifted me up so much and helped me through that time. Bear Grylls, Mud, Sweat and Tears, I think it's a really good insight to him as a person, but also about the kind of things that you can achieve if you put your mind to it. Uh, a cookbook that I use all of the time, uh, and it's by Joe Wicks called Leaning 15, and it's all about balanced nutritional food. Something I would recommend to students would be reading biographies for successful people. Um, I personally like Karen Brady. She's a very successful businesswoman and is currently a chairman person, I believe, at West Ham United Football Club. It's called the Northern Lights Trilogy. The first book is called the Northern Lights. Then the second book is um, the Subtle Knife and finally the Amber Spyglass. Um, I think everybody should read these books because they're uh, they're set in a kind of mixture of a fantasy world and something which is quite similar to the world that we live in. Um, and I think he writes about a lot of the things which concern us today, although they're actually um, a few years old now. If you look at the world and wonder what's going on in America or what's going on in politics or why are things really corrupt, I think these books have a really good message um, about some of those things and how people cope with them. I was a reluctant reader. Um, um, I could read, but... I I didn't like to read loads of stuff, I just liked to read short stories. But when I re read the first page, I didn't put the book down until two hours when it was done. It was amazing and I'd really, really um, recommend that book to anybody, a boy call it. I think that every SWB student should go to the Terry Pratchett section on the shelf and read any Terry Pratchett book. Any of them will make you laugh. You will love the characters. Um, there's some rude jokes, there's some funny jokes, there's a bit of comedy and slapdash. There's also a deep message in there. Um, a lot of fantasy and magic and witchcraft, but also a lot of really good morals and just characters that you'll fall in love with. So do it.